Hello Virgo, welcome to Cancer season. As we enter into Cancer season, it feels to me like a lot of you are thinking pretty big picture. You are working on some kinds of projects, you're pursuing some kind of path that has a kind of wide horizon is what it feels like. Many of you have a lot of exciting new ideas about what you want for your life and how you are putting yourself out into the world. And cancer season continues to amplify and accentuate these ideas and make them increasingly more social. This is a season that is highly social for Virgo identified folks. It's a great time for you to get out there, to hang out with old friends, to make new friends, to increase and expand your social network. This is also a season that is bringing a lot of opportunities, and I'm going to say luck, into the area of your creative projects and your future goals and visions. Because Virgo is a sign and an energy that is often very conscientious and pretty devoted to service in certain ways, I'm also going to say that this is a season that really wants you to give your gifts and your offerings to the greater good of all, uh, whatever that might mean for you. So it might be the greater good for your community. It might be the greater good for the world or for the oceans or for the air. It feels to me like in the realm of uh, your future goals and wishes, there is also probably a lot of sentiment and heartfelt desire to align your own efforts, your projects, and your labor with a kind of greater project or higher good uh, for more than just you and maybe for everybody or all involved. Over the course of this season, you are really well supported to have different kinds of conversations, especially with new friends or with larger groups of people. Some of you might be thinking about increasing your audience or connecting with new types of people or having conversations that bridge the gaps or cross the divide of differences or ideologies or something like that. You have so much capacity to do this work right now. I think that you have been skill building probably your whole life, but especially over the last year or so when it comes to the discernment and the containment that really serves depth and intimacy to emerge in relational spaces. I feel that a lot of you have been taking an enormous and exquisite amount of self-responsibility. You are up-leveling your own emotional intelligence. You're also working so hard to take care of your needs and your boundaries. And when you take care of your own needs and boundaries, when you up-level your own emotional intelligence, you are in an offering of generosity for the people who you are involved with. Cancer season is bookended by two full moons at the very beginning and very end of the season. These full moons highlight your creative output and your uh, capacity to be expressive, authentic, playful, and spontaneous. Uh, Virgo sometimes feels spontaneous and feels its creative outlet in ways that, again, are oriented towards service. And sometimes, not always, but sometimes Virgo can be a little bit more serious uh, than other signs because of this influence. I really want to encourage you to focus on joy and what feels like it really serves sustenance and thriving for you in your own energy right now. And then explore where what serves you in your joy and your energy will also serve a greater good. And the feeling that I'm getting here is that you are expanding as a drop in the ocean and from your expansion, ripples are flowing outward and uh, holding more and more people and more and more space. These are full moons and a season in its entirety that are definitely encouraging you to tap into new levels of creativity. And this is going to come from spaces that are more unconscious, sublime, mystical, spiritual, and quiet. Um, 
I would say that this is a great time for you to try new things. If you haven't done something before, give it a go. This is not about performance. It's not about succeeding in some kind of chosen outcome. It's more about process. It's more about experience and bringing yourself to an experience in ways that are generative and joyful for you. Again, because whatever is generative and joyful for you, there's a good chance that it is going to be in service to others. As we move into the month of July, there's an increasing need for you to have quiet space and solitude. You need rest and restoration. Please take naps. Please give yourself space and time to connect with your higher self, to connect with deep listening, and to attune with divine energy as you understand it. This could definitely just be earth energy taking time to uh, let the sun uh, radiate and warm your body, um, taking time by water, taking time with trees and plants, all really nourish Virgo sensibilities. This is also a wonderful time to connect with spiritual teachings or uh, metaphysical and occult work. Astrology for sure is one of those things, but I don't want you to be too heady about it. I want you to be able to connect more deeply with the subtle energy and the energetic realms. So whatever might uh, occur to you as ways that you could do that, please give it a try. And creative exploration, process-based exploration is one great way for you to do this. Around the middle of July, there is uh, the feeling of something really exciting uh, occurring in the part of your life that has to do with your growth, with your sense of path and purpose. Um, from about, I'm going to say the 14th through the 18th of July, this is prime opportunity uh, opening time. This is a period of time in which you are really well supported for speaking, for teaching, for any roles where you might be uh, functioning as some kind of possibility model or offering guidance or advice to others. This is also an incredible time for you to be networking and making new connections. For any of you that have uh, ideas about making what you're doing bigger or bringing growth into uh, some component of your path in life, this is an opportunity moment as we grow uh, towards the full moon at the end of the month. Please take advantage of this. This is great time for uh, sending out proposals, submitting applications, trying to get things published or something like that. At the end of cancer season, there is an increase in mental energy that is coming into uh, the collective sphere. For you, this mental energy is resonating in the part of your chart that has to do with your vocation and your career. Uh, if you don't necessarily resonate with those words, you can also think of yourself as a future ancestor. What are you embodying uh, for a kind of larger collective space. You hold the role of a possibility model for anybody who might perceive you. Um, if you are a parent or if you're in some kind of role where younger people might be looking up to you, this is also definitely indicative of that kind of uh, energy as well. From the end of cancer season, about July 20th until the beginning of September, you have a lot of energy to put into who you are and who you are becoming in the world. This is motivating, courageous, heartfelt energy that wants you to be bold and bring your best self forward. This is an influence that also really puts you in a position of leadership. And regardless of your role or your job or your, you know, status or something like that, please contemplate how you are in leadership right now. 
we are always leading and we are always teaching through the ways that we embody ourselves and bring our presence into circumstances and situations. You are teaching your community members and your family. And again, anybody who might be younger than you and looking up to you, as well as people who are older than you and also looking up to you or looking to you for examples. This is a period of time that is asking you to really break through barriers that you may have felt before, especially when it comes to perfectionism and insecurity. If you have felt like for whatever reason, you don't have uh, what you think is needed to be a possibility model of something, to go for something that you want. Now is the time to put those fears to the side and give it a go anyway. I'm not going to guarantee you any outcomes, but I am going to say that this is a period of time that has an enormous amount of possibility. There's a lot of support for you to be uh, taking next steps, to be taking big steps, to be embodying the role of leader, of teacher, of author, uh, and role model or possibility model for others. This is also a period of time when others see you as courageous. You are someone that, again, has been doing a lot of work to hold space for relationship in new ways, to refine your own energy, and to build emotional competence when it comes to the relational realm. And now is a time that you might be exhibiting those skills that you've been developing for quite some time now and really uh, providing all of us with an example of what we might also aspire to in our own lives. Not to put any pressure on you, Virgo, I am going to say that cancer season as a whole also feels really fun and generative. It is a highly social time. It's also a time that is asking you to be in choice about how you are being social. You can afford to make the right choices for you. There is not scarcity in your relational field even if it might feel like that sometimes, even if you're like, but where do I meet anyone? Nobody's around. I want to say that this is a time for you to be really clear about your standards and what you expect uh, when it comes to accountability, uh, respect, presence, and uh, kind of energetic availability in general when it comes to any and all relationships you know that you bring a lot to the table and you expect that others will see that, receive that, respect that, celebrate that, and meet you uh, by bringing a lot of what they have to give as well. I certainly hope that that's the case, Virgo. I'm wishing you all the best in cancer season and beyond. Bye for now.